Having arrived, I'd like to call the King County Board meeting of February 13th, 2018 to order. Uh, our clerk, Celeste, will call the roll. Ellen? Present. Auger? Here. Barrero? Here. Dahl? Davis, Fraz, Gillum, Here. Hernandez, Here. Hoshite, Here. Ishmael, Here. Kenyon, Here. Kazarek, Here. Leonard, Here. Lewis, Here. Martin, Here. Molina, Here. Sanchez, Sheflo, Silva, Here. Smith, Sterrett, Thomas, Here. Wegman, Here. Winicki. Here. We have a okay, we have a quorum. Uh, I'd like to thank Joe McMahon, our King County State's Attorney, for being with us today. Uh, also, uh, we continue to send our best to Jack Cunningham, our uh, county clerk. Uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yesterday was a very important day uh, in this year in that, yes, and as she groans, it was Becky Gillum's birthday. So if ever all of us wish <laughs> We won't sing because we want to keep this celebration. So um, I'd like to ask everyone to uh, please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the prayer. Uh, Jack Kirtley from the St. Charles Rowing Club is going to come forward to the microphone to lead us in the pledge. Uh, Jack is a senior at Marmion Military Academy. He broke both the American and world indoor record for rowing 2,000 meters on slides while at practice on January 9th of this year. And that is incredible uh, accomplishment. And I understand that you've been recruited and you'll be going to uh, University of Washington uh, yeah. to row on that. It's a classic. Uh, what's the name of the book? Uh, Boys in the Boat. Boys in the Boat. Uh, is a tremendous, uh, I didn't read it, but my wife Sarah read it, said it was terrific. So you go into a great tradition. So thank you very much for being with us today, Jack. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, if you would remain standing. Thank you, Jack. Good luck. Uh, our prayer today, I'd like to ask Pastor Craig Steiner from Harvest uh, Bible Chapel in Aurora to come to the microphone and lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Kane County. We thank you for each member of this board. God, we pray that your will would be accomplished in this meeting. God, give each man and woman represented here today wisdom regarding the matters on the agenda today. God, may issues be able to be resolved and decisions made in a harmonious way, in a way that does not seek self-interest, but seeks the law of the land, as well as the interests of those citizens within our county. God, we ask that you would give each member of this board courage and integrity and humility and compassion as they lead. God, may the residents of our great county, may they love one another as they love themselves, regardless of race and religion and age and gender. God, I pray that we would look out for one another and care for one another that are in need. Protect our county from senseless violence. God, I pray that you would bless each board member for their public service. Bless each elected official and employee of our county. Bless each teacher and first responder and caregiver. Bless each resident in King County with peace and prosperity. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, next is approval of the minutes. May I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from January 9th, 2018 meeting? So moved by Brian Dahl, second by Kurt Kazarek. Are there any thoughts, comments, or changes? All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. Uh, the ayes have it, motion passes, minutes are approved. Uh, new and unfinished business, uh, presentation discussion, no sh uh, Chairman Short program today. Are there any speakers on the agenda items? I don't have any on my list. Okay. Then, um, resolution and... Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, I'd just like to 
provide brief comments on the matter regarding Settlers Hill. Mr. Mayor, uh, I think that that is going to come up on the agenda. Will it be uh, pulled off of the agenda, or would you like to have that talk now? Understood. So, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, would you come forward? Uh, now would be a good time okay. uh, for you to speak. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Time. Chairman. And ladies and gentlemen of the board, ladies and gentlemen attending, I'm here for just a, a brief thank you to all of you who will be soon voting on investing money into the transformation of what we now call the land form, Settlers Hill, to what is expected to be a national interest and attraction for the cross-country field sponsored by our friends at Northwestern Medicine. I, in, in particular, want to acknowledge the leadership of the chairman, the leadership of Mr. John Martin, and the leadership of my friend and all of your friend, Mr. Mike Donahue. Uh, the city of Geneva is pleased with the progress that has been made. We acknowledge the difficulty in making that progress, but we stand with you in both excitement and anticipation for the redevelopment of this site, and I thank you again. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, well said. Uh, okay, is there anyone who would like to remove uh, any items from the consent agenda? Okay, Mr. Sheflo. 18-51. Uh, Number 1851. Uh, Ms. Thomas? 1814. Okay, uh, others? Uh, Ms. Molina? Thank you. Uh, 1842. Okay, others? <coughs> Ms. Silva, 1848. Okay, others? Okay, may I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda with the uh, exceptions of 1814, 1842, 1848, and 1851. So moved by Mr. Fraz, second by Ms. Sterrett. Uh, clerk, call the roll. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Uh, Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Hoshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Sheflo? Yes. Silva? Yes. Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winnicky? Yes. Passes. Okay, the motion passes. Uh, so number 1814, uh, may I have a motion and a second to discuss and potentially pass? So moved by Ms. Sterrett, second by Ms. Allen. Um, Ms. Thomas. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I pulled the, this item not to object because I am in favor of it, but I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank um, the person who has been serving in this role. I think that when we can find a moment to thank county staff for the work they do, we should do so. And I just want to say thank you to Christy. She has um, done a wonderful job since I've been here, and it's been my pleasure getting uh, to know her. And I, I'm not sure <laughs> what the plan is, but I just want to thank her for what she's been doing in the role. Well said. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and our, our thoughts and prayers are with Ellen McGrath. And thank you very much for uh, taking the time to recognize it. So we have a motion and a second. Um, any other thoughts or comments? All those in favor of passing the, um, the resolution, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Ayes have it. That's the roll. Oh, excuse me. Uh, roll call on that motion. Uh, clerk, call the roll. Uh, Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Hoshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Shefflo? Yes. Uh, Silva? Yes. Sterrett? 
Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Woodnicki? Yes. Passes. Okay. Uh, the motion passes. Uh, number 1842, Ms. Molina, would you rise and address the... Oh, excuse me. Let's, uh, let's have a motion and a second to uh, discuss and potentially approve the motion. So moved by Ms. Sterrett, second by Ms. Allen, Ms. Molina. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. I've stood here before speaking in opposition to these types of reimbursements since our policy was revised last year. My objective has never been one to which has never been to point out one individual, but rather to point out the inconsistencies between our reimbursement policy and the requests in front of us. The first request is way over the 90-day window for approval. The second is not an approved reimbursement in the policy. Many of my fellow board members have agreed and objected to these requests, but I understand that some are afraid to ruffle feathers. I hope you can look beyond the fact that it's the chairman who is requesting our taxpayers pay him back for his magazine subscriptions and pork sandwiches and deny this request as we would for any other county employee. It is also my hope that the chairs of the Human Services Administrative Finance Committee revisit this in committee and address these inconsistencies. I also hope that today we send a message to our taxpayers letting them know that we understand that they have had to tighten their budgets and go without non-essentials in order to have some future savings. Their government should be doing the same. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Molina. Are there uh, other comments? Dr. Silva. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have voted in the past um, to approve some of these expenses because I felt I don't feel the need to nickel and dime, and, if, and I feel that each individual um, leader or director has the ability to make these decisions. However, following the GPS monitoring program cancellation, I am um, no longer in favor of these sorts of things because if we're not able to fund some of these programs, however small the comparison is in, in monetary value, it's a message that we're sending to taxpayers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Silva. Other comments or questions? Okay. Um, you know, this has been raised several times, and uh, I, I hope uh, everyone recognizes that their, you know, their uh, opinions are welcome and uh, listened to respectfully and without interruption. Uh, I'd like to respond uh, without my comments being interrupted. Uh, these are reimbursement of business expenses. They are not um, uh, that I've paid with either credit card uh, or some other uh, type of, uh, as far as the, the uh, chairman uh, parts. So they're business, not personal. Uh, to give you three examples of what they consist of, um, uh, there are infrequent um, luncheons. Uh, I think that the sandwich costs about $5.90. Uh, with people like our Metra representative, when we sit down and we break bread. Uh, mayors uh, who come in, sorry Kevin, uh, I guess that you know, at some point, no 590 for you. <laughs> um, uh, consultants, whether it's uh, to talk about an animal control study several years ago, or um, insurance uh, specialists uh, who have the potential of saving us hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, uh, these are not personal lunches. Uh, my wife, Sarah, packs lunch. Actually, there's a lunch upstairs today uh, that our, uh, she packs uh, lunch for me each day, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, by the way, if they become personal expenses, they'll, they'll look more like cigars and scotch or, you know, beer. Um, as far as subscriptions, uh, they're, the subscriptions are things like Barron's, Financial News, which uh, uh, I do read that every week. I think that the f uh, we're very fortunate that we have good leadership in Mr. Hoshite and all the members of the uh, Finance Committee uh, and uh, the support from the majority of the uh, board as far as the good work that has been done to hold the line on taxes uh, and also to pay down our uh, public county debt uh, by about two-thirds uh, in the last six years. Also, I do subscribe to the, uh, you know, and it's taxpayer reimbursed uh, to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I only take that weekly because I am uh, naturally sensitive to 
Uh, I'll catch up once a week with what the Wall Street Journal uh, has to share with most of us. Uh, there are also uh, seminars uh, or conferences that I have attended, uh, one every five years, uh, as far as the, um, the national county uh, government organization. Uh, the City Club, uh, I go to listen to speakers to pay my respects to people who are doing similar things to what this board is doing. Uh, if we want uh, assistance from other counties uh, on opioid uh, litigation and uh, matters, uh, things like the Chicago Regional Growth Initiative, uh, the Tollway, Tollway Administration, um, uh, then uh, somebody needs to go to those meetings to build those relationships. Uh, if I don't go, you would have to go uh, the job or, or else the job would not uh, get done. Uh, the objective when I go to these meetings, when I walk in that room, uh, I make sure that I touch base uh, with 10 people in that room, uh, including the speaker. Uh, it's, a, it's the least expensive opportunity to shake hands and share a thought uh, with people who are decision makers in this region. Uh, for instance, the next person who's going to be uh, speaking at the City Club, and I think the fee is like $30 that the uh, taxpayers uh, reimburse. Uh, the next person is going to be Bob Schillerstrom, and uh, as chairman of the uh, Tollway Commission, um, uh, it's important to touch base because we will ask for his cooperation through the Transportation Committee and I think support of the whole board uh, that we have that kind of um, uh, assistance. Uh, over six years, uh, it's less than uh, several thousand dollars uh, in uh, the budget. We have uh, several hundreds that you've approved. Uh, the authority that I base this on uh, is the board approval in the budget each year. Uh, it's approved and then dispersed uh, through the finance uh, department and committee, the auditor, and then the treasurer. Uh, I took a look at the, uh, the procedure as far as uh, meals under the King County financial policies, and it says employees traveling locally on county business will not be reimbursed for meal costs, as uh, the, uh, the speaker, the original speaker said, uh, unless uh, either it's in a collective bargaining agreement or the elected official department head agrees as indicated by their approval of the request. Uh, I consider the board as a whole, uh, the elected official, uh, uh, and the uh, indicated by your approval of request of uh, the budget that's approved each year on a line, line item. I would go on, but for six years, it's been my uh, practice, and I'm, I'm uh, dedicated to the objective of not uh, pointing out uh, weaknesses and, and inconsistencies and that type of criticism by outlining uh, other people's um, uh, disrespect uh, for taxpayer money. Uh, anybody who has any uh, curiosity about m what my opinion is on that, I'd be happy to discuss it after a uh, public meeting in order to uh, maintain proper decorum. So that would be my response uh, to those. And it's up to the board to uh, continue to authorize what's already uh, been approved in the budget and is now just spent. So uh, the, we have a motion and a second. Uh, clerk will call the roll. Allen? Aye. Auger? No. Uh, Barrero? No. Dahl? Yes. Uh, Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? No. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? No. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? No. Sanchez? No. Sheflo? Yes. Silva? No, ma'am. Uh, Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? No. Winicki? Yes. Passes. Okay, the motion passes. 
Number 1848, uh, Dr. Silva, would you rise and, uh, let's see, uh, we need a motion and a second. Uh, so moved by Ms. Wegman, second by Ms. Sterrett, Dr. Silva. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> um, thank you for the opportunity to speak to um, my fellow board members this morning. Uh, I had this discussion with a couple of you, and I just want to let you know that I share your sentiment that it's unfortunate that we have to fund insurance liability. I, <laughs> I, I feel like we shouldn't have to, but unfortunate circumstances will lead us in that direction. So I am in favor of this. I continue to feel that sound judgment, maintenance of healthy reserves, while not overfunding, allows us to continue to provide services, protect residents, and hold the line on taxes. And I'm sorry that I had to read that, but I wanted to make sure that I was clear and concise in my feelings. Thank you. Thank you. Any other thoughts or comments? Uh, Mr. Lewis? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We um, were introduced um, about a week ago. Our finance director, Joe Onzik, prepared documents uh, that uh, uh, shared with us we have ex, well, we don't have excess funds. We have funds available that we might allocate to programs in 2018. And I believe we should uh, earmark estimated half a million dollars of that to reinstate the uh, GPS monitoring system. Uh, we had that opportunity with the Insurance Liability Fund, but I'm not going to propose that amendment to the Insurance Liability Fund, but rather uh, bring to the attention of this board that we will be discussing uh, the uh, allocation of revenues, well, basically it was lower expenses that we had from 2017 that we have not decided where those dollars will be applied in our 2018 budget. And so as we discuss this, let's all be aware, uh, my goal or objective will be to uh, reinstate funding for the GPS monitoring system. It makes all kinds of sense to do this. We need to employ the technology that's available to us in public safety. And I would uh, look forward to that conversation with this board and that we get that program funded again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Um, I w uh, other comments? Uh, Ms. Burrow. Thank you, Chairman. Um, thank you, uh, Commissioner Lewis. I totally agree with you. My question is, if we put this money, which um, we were just informed that we have in excess into the insurance liability fund, will we be able to transfer out of it for other expenses if needed? Or how does this, I want to make sure that once we lock this money in, um, what's the, you know, what's the status going forward? Are we not to touch it? Is that the only thing it can be used for, et cetera? I'd like to know the opinion on that. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ms. Barrero. Okay, uh, Mr. Hoshite, would you like to address that? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think uh, once we uh, transfer funds from one account to another account, that doesn't lock those funds into that account. We would have the ability to transfer funds um, after this. So, to Ms. Barrero's, the answer to Ms. Barrero's question is yes, if we could reallocate the funds if we chose necessary. I think the importance here is that the history of the insurance liability fund um, has shown a declining balance, and by doing this transfer, it reduces the burden on property taxes going forward, so it'll allow us to hold the line there. Mr. Lewis's comment is appropriate. We do um, have some funds to decide where to allocate. It's typically this time of year that we would go through a, a discussion of that and then have a motion in terms of where we would allocate those resources, and uh, I expect that that would happen. We discussed having a committee of the whole to discuss that, and I would expect from that meeting then we'll come back with a recommendation uh, with the input from the entire board. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hoshai. Other uh, comments or questions? 
Uh, Dr. Silva. Thank you again, sir. Um, thank you uh, for making that comment, Mr. Uh, Lewis. I think that um, one of the things that I've heard you say is that getting, um, not using this program anymore, getting rid of it is a step backwards instead of a step forward, and that's really uh, made a lot of sense to me. So I'm very much in favor of continuing this conversation. I think that bringing this program back is uh, very pertinent to public safety, and if we do have the money, um, the least that we can do is continue the conversation. If it is the will of the board to not go in that direction, um, obviously that is what it is, but um, I think that the conversation needs to be had. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Silva. Other, other comments or questions? Okay. If not, uh, just a thought on that. Um, perhaps if I were to assert that um, neither the board nor any individual member of the board has the authority to reinstate a program that is in the court system, um, that might be believed, it might not be believed, and so what I would suggest is that we uh, anyone who would like to come to the Judiciary Committee uh, this Thursday, so two days from now, uh, I'm, I intend to ask the question of the Chief Judge. Uh, once again, over the weekend, uh, she and I talked about, um, you know, the uh, where authority and responsibility to make those decisions rests uh, within our county government, and rather than uh, accept, uh, you know, my assessment of that. Uh, I think that uh, it would be appropriate to ask the chief judge uh, and the proper committee uh, to get that question thoroughly answered, that it is not up to the board as a whole or any individual member of the board uh, to make, to re-institute uh, a GPS program or electronic monitoring program, uh, even if we all, and I, I happen to think it is a very uh, good program. However, it's not my authority, nor any other person on the board's authority, nor our authority together uh, to make that kind of determination. But uh, I would ask you to come to the meeting on Thursday to hear it yourself. And with that, I'm going to ask the clerk to call the roll. Chair, I'm sorry. No, I asked for all comments, and then I made a final uh, observation. So today, I'm going to ask the clerk to call the roll. Allen? Uh, Auger? Yes. Barrero? No? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Braz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Poshite? Yes. Ishmael? No. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Sheffalo? Yes. Silva? Yes. Uh, Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Passes. Okay, the uh, motion passes. Uh, number 1851, uh, a chairman of the Public Service Committee, uh, Mr. Shefflow, would you like to make a motion? Would you please rise and make a motion? Uh, who would like to second that? Mr. Horscheidt seconds it. Mr. Shefflow. Uh, thank you. So this is resolution 18-51 entitled Appreciation of County Staff. Um, just wanted to read this resolution. I had an opportunity to be down at the county when, at the end of the year when the uh, real estate tax prepayments were being made. We had uh, the entire first floor was full of people uh, paying those taxes. I had a chance to talk to a few of them. Um, they indicated that the line was moving quickly. Uh, and so uh, I think they did a great job, and this is the resolution. Whereas last minute federal tax law changes resulted in an unprecedented number of county citizens requesting prepayment of property tax during the last week of December 2017. And whereas estimates show that over 7,400 customers with payments totaling over $68,900,000 were provided service on the last five business days of the year, Many customers expressed gratitude. They were provided efficient and friendly service despite the large number of people seeking assistance. Whereas Treasurer Rickert would like to publicly express his gratitude to his staff and the other county employees from the Finance Department, Information Technologies Department, County Clerk's Office, Supervisor of Assessments Office, and the staff of the print shop for their willingness to assist customers and provide support for the Treasurer and his staff. And whereas the Public Service Committee would like to 
publicly express its gratitude to the staff as well and to King County Treasurer David J. Rickert for his effective response and leadership in handling this uh, unprecedented number of county citizens requesting prepayment of property tax during the last week of December 2017. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Kane County Board also acknowledges and appreciates the teamwork and positive attitude of its employees and the leadership of Treasurer Rickert to assist each other in providing critical customer service to county citizens. And I, just one more comment is uh, the uh, the way it was handled was different elected department heads shared their resources um, with the treasurer's office and so forth. So that, that really was uh, an example of uh, working together here at the county. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Shefflow. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any further comments on that issue? If not, clerk, call the roll. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Fernandez? Yes. Hoshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Shefflow? Yes. Silva? Yes. Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes. Next on the agenda is appointments. Uh, may I have a motion and a second to approve the appointment to the KingCom board. Uh, this is uh, Chief Lou Rossi, uh, Gilbert's Chief of Police, for a term that would expire in February of 2022. May I have a motion? So moved by Ms. Wernicke, second by Mr. Fraz. Um, any thoughts or comments? If not, clerk, call the roll. Ellen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Hoshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Sheflo? Yes. Silva? Yes. Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Win uh, Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. 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 Okay, motion passes. Uh, next uh, executive session, uh, may I have a Oh, uh, Mr. Martin. Sure, Mr. Martin. I don't make thank you speeches until after the vote, uh, but thanks to everybody on the board uh, for honoring what has been this county's commitment to the 11th district uh, for decades. Um, Settlers Hill has been closed. Uh, we've now put a plan together that will not only provide a uh, a, a wonderful facility on race day, but uh, for the remaining time of the year, uh, a great uh, hiking and, uh, and, and picnic area for the people of the county. Uh, a lot of people on the board have worked very hard for this. A lot of people um, who've grown weary of uh, the length of the meeting <laughs> also also worked, but I wanna, I wanna thank everybody. This was a decades old commitment and very often government is uh, charged with forgetting its long-term commitments and that did not happen here, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Uh, on executive session, may I have a motion and a second to go into executive session to discuss settlement of claims, personnel, and other appropriate matters. So moved by Mr. Dahl, second by Ms. Sterrett. Uh, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed, nay. Motion passes. Okay, I'd like to ask for a motion and a second to approve claims number um, 17 CV 5506 for 15,000, uh, claim number 16 WC 10202 for $4,061.82, 16 WC 33-1264 for 37,761, Number, uh, claim number 17, D45F04-1427 for 25418.32. And then uh, claims number uh, 11 WC25240, 12 WC007196, and 14 WC19378 uh, consolidated together for uh, $39,061.81. May I have a motion, please? So moved by Ms. Sterrett, second by Mr. Kozark. Uh, clerk, call the roll. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gillum? Yes. 
Hernandez? Yes. Hoshe? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Kozarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Sil I'm sorry, Sheflo? Yes. Silva? Yes. Sterrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winnicki? Yes. Yes. Okay, the motion passes. Uh, next, uh, next on the agenda, uh, any public speakers on non-agenda items? Seeing none, may I have a motion to adjourn until March 13th, 2018. So moved by Ms. Sterrett, second by Ms. Wegman. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed nay, ayes have it.